In this video, we will discuss SQL and databases. What are the basics of SQL? Do you need to understand SQL? What are the reasons that everyone right now is learning SQL? So this video will be one step ahead in your data analyst journey. So first of all, let's say you want to store the employee details. So you have employees in your organization. You want to store all the details of your employee. So how will you do that? So first of all, first option can be write the information on the paper, right? So you can write what is the employee ID, name of the employee, base location, what is the date of joining and mobile number. You can add, write everything and tomorrow, let's say there is, there is a new employee, you can write here as well and then you can maintain the records in the register, right? So this is one of the options which was used so many years back. This is not at all used and not viable as well because there would be multiple records. So every day, so many people are joining the team and you might be having people in thousands, right? So how will you maintain this in records? And it is not viable as well, right? Second option can be entering the details in the Excel. So you're maintaining the records in Excel. So similarly, like employee ID, name, base location, date of joining, mobile number. So you have all the records over here. In this, the better part is you can filter out and if you want to filter for one particular employee, for example, if you want to see how many Rohans are there, so you'll just filter on name column and select Rohan. So you'll get to know how many Rohan name employees are there, right? This is not possible in option number one. But in option number two, that you are entering the details in Excel, here, there are so many limitations. First is if you are having multiple sources, how will you store the data? Second, here, there is one limitation that if you are staying, for example, if you are in the premise of uh, organization, if you want to get this detail in uh, at home, right? So how will you get this? So maybe you can get this on the cloud and then you can access. But again, in Excel, you can have 10 lakh records only not more than that. So there is a limitation on that. Plus if your size, uh, file size is huge, then you won't be able to open it properly. Third, if you want to do all kind of querying, for example, if you want to see how many people are there with the salary of greater than one, one lakh and their base location is Delhi and like applying the conditions, then it is not very like suggested to work on Excel. Plus, the data that is there in Excel, it is not safe. It is not stored at one place where you can access after two years or three years. That is why we need database, right? So for example, as I told you about having two data sets, for example, there is one employee table as we are having already. Second is sales table, right? So now what I have to do is for each an employee who is having the sales, right? I want to know what is the base location of each and every salesman. For example, in this employee ID, 100104, this is the one, right? So here the name is Suresh, you can see Suresh. I want to have his base location as the same from this particular table. So in Excel, I can use VLOOKUP or any other formula to get the base location. For example, in that case, my primary key would be employee ID and accordingly I can fetch the base location. Similarly, if I want to fetch date of look joining, I can do that. I can fetch the mobile number as well. But there would be so many tables and there would be multiple records. So this is not suggested to do this. Herein, what we can do is, this is the option number three, entering the details in a CRM or software that will be saved in the database. So now you're entering all the thing in software and then all the data that is there is stored in a database. So you can see this is a screenshot of SQL server, right? In SQL server, this is the SQL server, right? These are the databases. So this is the icon used for database, right? So this is one of the database name as test. And under this, there are multiple tables. Right now I am having employee table and sales table, right? So you are saving all these things. Once your system crashes, your data will be intact, right? Here you can apply so many things. You can apply the filters or you can limit the people who, are, who can access this data, right? You can access this from anywhere, 
right so if you want to query on this for example there are two tables employee and sales then how you can do because in excel you can do using filters conditional formatting but that is also not suggested in here in database what we can do is we can use sql but in this what all the options are for example there is microsoft sql server there is mysql then there is postgresql these all are options where you can use sql queries right these are our systems in sql server i can use sql express this is free you can use this for uh, the space of uh, less than 10 gb then this is totally free you don't need to purchase uh, enterprise or anything from microsoft similarly mysql and postgre so these are our different different sql server and where you can apply queries right there would be slightly difference in the syntax of the sql queries for each and every database so these are database where you can store the data all right so now if you see this particular screen left side you can see this is my server and database and all the details related to tables which tables are there for example here i can see employee table is there sales table is there right right side on the right side you can see this is my sql query this is sql query so here what you can do is you can select a particular column so employee underscore name is a column in employee table so what you're doing is select column name from table name where sales is greater than 1 lakh so i'm saying tell me all the employees in this particular table in this employee table where sales is greater than 1 lakh sales is another column so this column name is greater than 1 lakh wherever it is more than 1 lakh it will show those many records so it can have multiple records it can be in lakhs so this is very very suitable for any particular competencies right so this is sql so sql is something that you need to know to fetch the data from these databases so this is my sql server it can be mysql it can be postgre it can be nosql in nosql you don't need to query it is straightforward but here the concept is you need to know querying how to do queries it it can also be divided into various languages that i will tell you in the later stages but right now you need to understand what is sql sql is just a query language which can be used to fetch the data or you can manipulate or do any kind of permutation and combination in databases all right i hope you understood what is sql all right so now let me just tell you again the definition of sql first of all sql full form sql is structured query language sql all right this is a standard language for storing manipulating and retrieving data from databases in databases it can be sql server it can be mysql postgre whatever it is so you can store the data you can manipulate the data you can retrieve the data so there are so many functions for that you can use it is a standard language for relational database system all the relational database management system rdbms like mysql as i told you ms access oracle sybase informatics postgres sql server use sql as their standard database language so sql is a standard database language that is used to store to manipulate to retrieve data in databases so standard sql commands to interact with relational databases these can be create select insert update delete and drop so these are some of the commands which you can use to have that particular functionalities these commands can be classified into following groups based on their nature so ultimately we are having some of the groups uh, in which they, these commands are classified first first of all is data definition language this is ddl here we can use create so create is used whenever you want to create a database or new table you can just write create table table name so this is how you can create a table in the database again there is alter if you want to change something inside the table or a database you can use alter command right and then drop so if you don't want to use that particular table it is useless right now you don't need and it is 
taking a lot of space and it is not of use you can use this command drop table table name that will drop or delete from the database and it won't be there at all second kind of group is data manipulation language that is dml this is very important here you can use select command so for example if i use select star from table name so star gives me every column in that particular table so select star from table name will give me all the records with all the columns so whatever is there inside that table you will get to know second is insert so if you want to insert any particular record you can insert for example currently you have a table with 10 records now you want to insert another employee today there is a new joinee uh, and you want to insert add that particular employee details in your employee table so you can use insert command to, to do that particular functionality then there is update so for example uh, there is an update in location of that particular existing employee for example there is employee rohan currently his base location is delhi now he is shifted or transferred to mumbai location now you need to update that particular record right so you can use this particular command to update the table and finally there is one more command delete so if you want to delete particular record you can use this particular command so there is a difference between drop and delete so using drop you can delete the table or the databases using delete command you can delete that particular record only you can't delete table from delete command right so there is a difference coming to the third group that is data control language dcl so this is also important you can use grant command to give permissions right and then revoke so if you want to revoke any permission that has already been given to any particular user you can use revoke command for example you have one particular employee that can have access to his data for example he is sales manager of let's say north region and he can access the data in north region now he left the organization or he shifted from north region to let's say south region now you need to revoke his permissions for the north region database right so you can use revoke all right guys so now i feel you have a fair understanding of what is sql and what are the databases now the next stage or you can say step would be to practice and understand the syntax and how it can be used or applied in various projects right so in my upcoming videos i will be working on sql queries to show how the complex sql works then i will talk about power bi i already have some videos on microsoft power bi how to create the reports uh, what are the difference between dashboards and reports i will be covering all these concepts in my upcoming videos and then if you are interested in data analyst interview preparation how to prepare for becoming a data analyst what are the important skills required how to prepare for them i will walk you through every aspect and finally if you want to have a resume building want to create a very good resume to be shortlisted in big organizations or mid level organizations so that you can at least start with data analyst journey right i will walk you through all these concepts in my upcoming videos i hope you loved this video thanks a lot for watching this video thank you guys